Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a get ready with me and we're going to be using all Jones Road Beauty. I got so excited about the Jones Road setting powder. I have just been singing the praises about this new setting powder and I'm not somebody who loves powder. <laughs> So that's saying something. I particularly love it in the shade pink and I've just been obsessed with that product. And then I was asked if I would do a full face of Jones Road Beauty today. So that is what we're going to do. I'm going to be using all sorts of fun Jones Road Beauty goodies. So if you are interested in seeing how I created this look, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we are going to do a full face of Jones Road Beauty. I am so excited. This is going to be a very no makeup, makeup kind of look, natural, everyday makeup. And if you are not familiar with Jones Road, this is a brand created by Bobby brown and i was a full-on bobby brown gal for a very long time <laughs> pretty much had everything back in the day and she had sold bobby brown i believe to estee lauder and then created jones road and her philosophy is that the world doesn't need more beauty products it needs better beauty products that are clean, that are strategic, and use high-grade formulations. So that is her philosophy. And just like back in the day, her true philosophy is about enhancing your own natural beauty. Um, I always loved that about Bobbi Brown products was just that it wasn't about masking things. It was just about enhancing your own beauty. And I'm finding that these products follow that same sort of philosophy. So I thought it'd be fun to do a full face of Jones Road. And I just completely fell in love with the Jones Road setting powder. I was just going on and on about how much I loved it. And then Jones Road offered to send me a few more goodies. So I am so excited about that. I had already previously picked up like a kit. This was when it first launched like a Jones Road Beauty Kit 101. So I'm going to be using some of the products that I picked up as well as some of the products that they sent me. So of course we are going to start with foundation and we're going to be using the What the Foundation. And this is basically a skin care infused balm and it comes just like this. Again, it's not going to fall out. It is a thick balm texture and this is essentially like a tinted skincare product. And I have this in the shade Light. Now this product includes some skin loving ingredients such as jojoba oil and hyaluronic acid. It is definitely like a thicker balm. This is the texture here and the way that I have found that this works the best is if I rub it kind of warm it up between my hands and then I'm going to apply it like a moisturizer so I like to just kind of put a little bit of this like this and then I am going to apply it onto the skin with my fingertips she was always big on using your hands to apply your makeup anyway so that it creates like a seamless finish. And you can build this up a bit, but again, this is like classic 
uh, no makeup makeup, meaning uh, it's just going to give your skin a nice little glow, but it's not necessarily going to have a ton of coverage. And you wouldn't expect that from this brand is what I would say. So if you're somebody who likes more high coverage foundation, I don't think this is going to be the foundation for you. If you're somebody who loves the idea of just a nice little tint that has some skin loving um, ingredients in it and it's going to give you a very nice little glow. I think you're going to love this. I think this is perfect for ladies that don't really like to wear makeup but they like the idea of a tinted moisturizer just to sort of blend everything out. This is exactly what this is and this comes in 12 different shades and the great thing about this is that she has a find my shade for both the miracle balm as well as the foundation and the face pencils and um, you can go on you can pick the pictures between fair light light medium 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 dark dark and deep and then it will walk you through and sort of help you pick the shade if you're still not sure what shade then they tell you to send in a selfie of yourself and they will write back with all of the recommendations for your particular skin tone and type so I did send in a picture because I was in between getting light or light medium and they ended up saying go with the light so here is what this foundation looks like right here and then I'm going to go ahead and use the Jones Road base pencil and this essentially is your concealer it can be used as a highlighter as well you could get a couple different shades in here it can be used as a corrector and I have this in the shade five and this particular shade is described as for light skin with cool pink undertones. They also did mention that shade eight would work for me which is light medium skin with neutral peachy undertones. They sort of acted like that would be a great corrector for me. So I'm going to start with this five and basically they recommend putting this pencil wherever you have wherever you want to conceal or darkness and I'm going to just come over here and I want to put some on my lids as well as a little base here. These are really easy to use. I'm going to go ahead and I'll put some here. I may highlight a little bit down the bridge of my nose. I'm going to kind of just place it anywhere where I might have a little bit of redness on my cheeks here. And these pencils are created with a clear base so that it doesn't have any chalky undertones here. And they blend out beautifully with your fingers. You could probably also use a brush as well, but I'm just gonna use the warmth of my hands here. Okay, we've got some complexion on, and what I would tell you is that this does feel very moisturizing. I wouldn't say that it is tacky, but I would say that I feel like it needs a minute to sort of sink into the skin. I am going to be setting it with my favorite setting powder, which is literally undetectable. But before we do that, I am going to use her famous Miracle Balm. And basically, this is the product that she is known for for this no makeup makeup look meaning that this is going to give you sort of an all over glow and you can use these products multiple ways. So the color that I have here is in flushed which I do think is just gorgeous. Flushed is going to be a cool pink with a subtle sheen and it's sheer to buildable coverage for all skin tones. So she has several different of these balms. Some of them are kind of like bronzer colors. There's an eau naturelle that can be used all over the 
base for an all over glow. There is also a new one called Miami Beach that's sort of a coral peachy color um, that looks really intriguing. But this one just was calling my name here. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to break the seal here um, to get to all of the good stuff. So that may give you a little swatch right here of this color and I'm going to be using this on my cheeks kind of highlight I'm going to kind of use it like blush and on my lips so I'm just going to come here and going to add it right on here I think this is such a pretty color and for someone like myself I want to kind of create um, a healthy looking glow almost as if I have just gotten done working out which I did, <laughs> but I want to keep that glow going here. So I'm going to come here and I'm kind of focusing on the cheeks all the way up, kind of higher up here to give myself a really pretty little flush. Isn't that pretty here? I love this color so much. And basically this is a light reflecting balm um, that is going to do just that. It is going to create a bit of a highlight, um, give you a really natural glow. So pretty and you can use it in multiple different ways. So you can wear this on your lip, on your cheeks, you can wear it all over. So very versatile product. Obviously you can use it all over your skin, your cheeks, your lips. I can actually put some of this on my lips right now. It's such a good color and love products that you can use multiple different ways and basically this is an antioxidant and antibacterial plant oil that is rich in replenishing fatty acids vitamins and minerals the texture is similar to your skin's natural oils Biometric is the technical term which makes it an effective hydrator for all skin types. This is made with jojoba oil and it does have sort of a um, earthy scent. I don't know if I'd say earthy, kind of mentholated, but it smells like a plant-based product it does not smell bad but I did want to mention that it has sort of a natural smell to it let me smell the foundation real quick I didn't notice any scent with that at all let me see I guess there's a little bit of scent in that one again this is like clean beauty product so it smells more like these natural oils it doesn't smell like perfume <laughs> That's for sure. Um, so then I'm going to set it with the new Jones Road setting powder that I literally fell in love with. And I like the shade in pink. This one's going to kind of brighten up my complexion. But the reason I love this, because I'm not somebody who like loves powder. I do use it, but it's never been a product that I have been like, ooh, I love powder because I have dry skin. And oftentimes if I'm not filming, I may not even wear powder, <laughs> just to be honest. So um, I tend to like a little bit more of a healthy glow, but I completely fell in love with this powder because it is truly undetectable on the skin but I felt like it did something very magical so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna set this and I'm using the Jones Road powder brush and I just want to show you how fantastic this product is the Tinted Face Powder is a finely milled, ultra lightweight setting powder designed to seamlessly blend into your skin to set your foundation, color correct where needed, and minimize shine without looking like you're wearing powder. 
It's exactly what you've come to expect from Jones Road, a fresh modern take on a traditional staple. This comes in eight different tinted shades. Okay, absolutely love the powder. Like literally, if you're gonna buy one thing, I have completely fallen in love with that powder. And again, I'm just not really a powder girl. But now we're gonna go back through and we're gonna add in a bit of color to the face with the bronzer. And I have this one in Dusty Rose. And I think this is such a beautiful color. So this is clearly going to be a lighter bronze. I'm kind of using it as blush too. So again, no makeup makeup. And I'm also going to use this on my eyes in the crease. So we are going to create a little simple eye look using some Jones Road eyeshadows. But I really love this color on my eyes. So this is the Dusty Rose Bronzer. The bronzer is a silky powder that adds instant warmth to the skin. It is sheer and buildable, and it can be used to give skin a natural tint or for color correction. It's available in seven different shades, and it's developed to work across a range of skin tones and types. Okay, absolutely love the bronzer. I feel like this is a great transitional bronzer color for myself. Adding on to that Miracle Balm which was in Flushed and then this Tawny Rose color so it's kind of bronzer slash blush just giving my face a little bit of warmth. And then what I like to do is come in with this as my crease color as well. And you could literally just use the this color for your eyeshadow, just kind of a monochromatic look here. But I really love this kind of as my base. I'm just going to kind of windshield wiper here. And then I'll just put whatever's left on that brush on the lid here. We've got a couple eyeshadows to play with, but for that no makeup makeup look, I first just wanted to show you how you could use this bronzer as kind of an all over look. You could use this, put on mascara, and be good to go, call it a day. Um, but we are gonna use some of her eyeshadows. Then I have two of the best eye shadows here. One is in a matte. This is in ash. And this reminds me of classic Bobbi Brown eyeshadow. Really high quality here. This one is a medium gray taupe, which I just love. Um, very nice neutral shade. And then I have it in the shade So Pretty. Look at how gorgeous this is. This is a taupe base with sheer silver finish. This is such a beautiful topper on the eyes. So I have been super impressed with the eye shadows. They are easy to use really nice pigmentation. They last on the eyes. So I've been super thrilled with that. So I'm going to come in with this ash color here and we are going to use that in the crease here. And I'm just going to come in with this ash going to slightly above. So if I'm looking straight ahead because I have hooded eyes. I want to get a little bit of that ash color and then just kind of taking that in the outer V here. And I'm using a refer number 16 brush, just a nice fluffy brush. I want to keep this look nice and simple and just sort of enhance the eyes here. So ash is just the perfect cool toned taupe shade and the shadows are $25 a piece and again they are created with clean 
ingredients. So sometimes the clean shadows that I have used in the past with other brands have been a bit powdery. Maybe the longevity isn't quite there, but so far when I have been playing with the Jones Road, that has not been the case. So the shadows are really quite wonderful. And especially for those of you that maybe don't wear eyeshadow all the time, you could like pick one or two shades here um, and just create a really simple everyday eye look. Now I am going to glam it up by adding a little bit of this shimmer here. I love this color. This is so pretty and I personally like a little bit of shimmer on my lid. So you can apply it with your finger or a brush. I'm going to start with my finger here and I'm just going to put some of that. Ooh, is that so pretty or what? I love it. And then I'm just going in with a brush here. That's a little bit denser and I'm just going to apply some of that so pretty on the mobile lid. Isn't that so pretty? What I'm going to do is just take a little bit of the ash and I'm going to run it just underneath my bottom lash line to connect everything just a little bit and then I'll be using one of her pencils just to intensify the upper lash line. Okay, we put on the eyeshadows. Then from this point on, you could just put on mascara. I am going to use the Jones Road Eyeliner here. This one is in black. And what I want to do is sort of wiggle between my upper lash line just to give myself a little bit more definition here. But for those of you that like a more simple eye, um, maybe not quite as dramatic, then you could skip the eyeliner, but I am just going to come through and wiggle this through my upper uh, lash line just to define that lash area. I don't want to go too intense. I still want to keep this a little bit soft, but I do. Okay, just a little extra definition near the lash line. And then we're going to use the Jones Road Mascara. This one you have heard me talk about on my channel before. This is a fantastic clean mascara. I have to say it's like one of the best clean mascaras I've ever tried because it's nice and black. Um, definitely is going to volumize your lashes. And I'm just going to come through and put this on. Okay, we have eyeballs on and I am going to finish the look off with a little bit more Miracle Balm on the lips. They do have some really pretty glosses that I want to pick up. You guys know I love a good gloss, but I do really like this Miracle Balm on the lips as well. It actually feels like a lip balm on the lips and I do think this color is pretty and it sort of ties everything together and then again you can always use the balm if I want to add a little bit on top just to add a little bit more glow back after putting on the powder and such you can always do that it's kind of like a little refresher as well for the makeup. 
So this is my final look using all Jones Road makeup today and a few of the standout products for myself. Um, I really am in love with the Jones Road setting powder. I, it's going to kind of brighten up my skin, but literally this powder is undetectable on the skin. So this powder is going to be perfect for those of you who don't really like powder. Um, I think you might absolutely love this and it just really looks so good on the skin. Skin. And after using the What The Foundation as well as the Miracle Balm, um, both of these products I do feel are very well suited for people with dry, mature skin. But I did feel the need that I would want to set the makeup, if that makes sense. I love a good glow, um, but it does feel like a moisturizer. It does feel feel like a balm on the skin and so once I put the powder down it just sort of kind of made everything come together so that's my own personal thoughts is that I absolutely love the combination of the Miracle Balm the what the foundation with the setting powder i'm in love with the dusty rose bronzer i think it is such a great product i love it on my eyes i love it as a bronzer kind of transitional it isn't too bronzy for my skin i'm not someone who actually tans so i like that just kind of warmth that it gives but i can kind of use it like a blush slash bronzer. Um, really love this product a lot. The single eyeshadows are truly amazing. Um, I love this shade in ash, but I'm somebody who loves a cool toned taupe. I can have as many of those in all the different brands. I just love this color. This is just a one and done eyeshadow look. And then so pretty is just gorgeous. This has sort of the shimmer here. So pretty. I love this one as well. So these eyeshadows I would highly recommend, especially if you are somebody who loves single shadows. You may not wear a ton of eyeshadow, but you want something easy to use. These are really good. And then I did enjoy this face pencil. I need to play with this a bit more. And I do want to pick up the shade 8 that is sort of like the color corrector. Um, I did feel like the 5 brightened up, uh, but I wouldn't mind using more than one of these pencils. So I kind of want to try the 8 for a little bit of color correcting. But I did watch Bobby talk all about how a clear based product that's going to not provide any sort of chalkiness or anything with undertones is a key for makeup artists and these are really easy to use. I could also see people using just the face pencils kind of like where they need it without the foundation. I am just kind of like again a perfect no makeup makeup but just sort of concealing anything that might need a little bit of redness or discoloration I could see that and then setting it with the face powder I feel like that would be a really gorgeous no makeup makeup look and if you're looking for a fantastic very volumizing mascara the Jones Road Mascara. This literally is one of the best clean mascaras I've ever tried. Love the brush on this and it provides plenty of oomph to the eyes. So definitely recommend the mascara. So as usual, I love to hear from you. What are your favorite Jones Road products? What do I need to pick up next? And I did want to say thank you to Jones Road for sending me these goodies. I was so excited about the power Powder, that it was kind of fun to um, be able to do a full face of Jones Road Beauty for you as well. So, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will be back with another video soon.